Okay, uh, so this is going to be a short video, I think. It's a reply video to one of the questions I've got on my video for Artifice with Arduino with LaVeYou from Mr... Sorry for pronouncing your name wrong. Ar Argadi. Okay. So basically he wants to see how to interface the Arduino with an LDN and LED. Basically if you put your hand on the LDR the LED should be on and when you remove your hand of the LDR the LED should be off. Now I don't have any more an Arduino Uno with me. What I have right now is a a pro uh, an Arduino Nano board but the same thing I did before in my part one video should work all you have to do is just change your board from Uno to uh, Nano and that's it and you download your code on it and that's it so let's start by taking a look at the circuit that we need to construct so here we have the Arduino Nano board here so we're gonna use the 5 volts and ground from the nano board and we are going to form a voltage divider using a resistor and an LDR and basically the resistor, one part of the resistor is connected to 5 volts the other part of the LDR is connected to ground and then the common point between them with the, which is the voltage divider is connected to the uh, pin A0 of the microcontroller which is the analog read zero pin of the microcontroller and I've selected to put the LED connected directly to pin uh, 4 of the Arduino or let's say digital output 4 of the Arduino I've connected directly with the cable not a good practice usually you should put a resistor but for micros it's probably not gonna burn an LED anyway so let's go to lab view so let's no not front panel let's go to the block diagram because most of the work is going to be on the block diagram so as we did before first we're going to add the initialization for the arduino here and then set the resources so create constant the Arduino is on port 6 in my case anyway and board rate stays also the same unless you changed it in the code I don't know why would you do that unless you had a specific reason your board type okay, it's constant it's it's nano but there's no option for choosing anything but a nano, a uh, mega, and a uh, demonova. And Uno is using Arduino th uh, at mega 328, and nano is using at mega 328, so I don't see much of a difference. Maybe there's some specific application that would require you to have the exact thing. But other than that, it worked. So let's try this one also, make it constant. Packets, after packets. This one also created as constant. Okay, so USB to serial, type of interface. Okay, that's done. And now, after that, I have to set my digital pin. So my digital pin in this case is going to be here. So I go to Arduino, low level. And then in low level, I go to uh, set digital pin. That's the first thing you should do. Select your digital pin and connect your resources up together with your error outs. Always good practice to keep the error out connected. Okay, after that, digital pin. So we have to select our digital pin, create constant. It's going to be pin number four. And pin mode this is going to be constant you guessed it it's going to be an output pin okay drag this out of the way done with that now we go and create a big while loop in the middle here ok 
Okay. Uh, okay. After that, let's see. Connect this to the while loop. Connect this also to the while loop. Now, before I continue, let's see what actual data is coming from the LDR sensor. So we'll go to Arduino. Low level. Analog read. Put the analog read here. I think I shouldn't have any problems with that. Arrange it nicely. Create constant. Constant in the case it's going to be a zero. And create an indicator to see your voltage. After that, wire up your Arduino resources to the output. And after that, Arduino, you have to close the resources once the, st the loop stops. So create it here. This one's here and create indicator to see what is the output from the route and create a stop so create control done so if you switch back and go back to the front panel so this is the output voltage you're going to see on a0 so if we s actually start the code right, let me move the stop button here so it's better to see now start Okay, so as you can see right now, the voltage is fluctuating at approximately 3.5 volts. If I go and block it with my hand, if I try to cover the LDR with my hand, you can notice that the voltage shoots up more. And that means what exactly is happening if you check here back on the fritzing diagram uh, the resistor is connected to ground uh, the LDR is connected to one part of it is connected to ground that means what uh, if the voltage uh, the voltage drop across the LDR is increasing that means when the it's darker the LDR resistance increases and it's when it's brighter the LDR resistance Inc uh, decreases in this case so this is the relation for this LDR of course for each LDRs there are millions in the market and some of them perform differently so you have to check them before you use them and as for the resistor I, I am using I am quite not sure which one I just grabbed any one and used it to be a voltage divider usually it will be either 1k or 2k or 10k depends best if you have a variable resistance it's easier for you okay so we'll go back again to love view stop this okay so approximately it's fluctuating at 3.36 now we are going to go back here remove this got still well, not done Okay, read this and we'll create another Arduino command. In this case, it's going to be digital's right. Wire up your resources, your error in. Make it nice and tidy for the actual poor soul that has to correct or follow along with you okay and then the value the value is going to be coming from this point how is it going to happen easy i'm going to go to i want to perform a comparison between the voltage that is coming out from the analog read with a constant value so i'm going to compare with greater than so in this vi you have two inputs x and y and you have an output which is either a boolean which is either one or zero it depends if x is greater than y then the output is one if x is less than y output is logic zero 
so you wire your output from the analog read to x because this is your changing variable and your constant variable in this case let's try create constant let's say 3.8 volts is your constant voltage now one mistake that you might make wa before this if you try to wire it directly here when you would think it's binary it should work nope it doesn't work because this VI does not accept binaries you either give it an integer of a zero or one simple solution for this is to go to data conversion in this case here boolean two zero or one so put this data converter here it will take your boolean and convert it to either a one or a zero integer and connect it up here and finish up clean up everything again make it clean this doesn't need to be this large but anyway it's more enough information for you guys to see so I'll try that again let's go back and check oh uh, wait, wait 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 doesn't make any sense if there is no indication so just right click and create an indicator for the voltage again and while we're at it let's go to the front panel and we'll add this so go to silver boolean led okay again go back there because we need to wire this up take this led boolean come on please get over here okay connect it up to this one so you can actually see what happens so go back here and now we run our this is not the best way to show a VI but it's the fastest and easiest way and since I'm not being judged on quality this is what you get the purpose is to learn not to make it look pretty which actually defeats the purpose of lab view but I uh, will uh, come on I hate arranging things okay so run it again voltage is fluctuating so if I go and shade it with my finger LED is on if I remove my finger LED is off again on off on off and if you check the LED on the VI also it also turns on and turns off when my when I remove my hand okay so this is a basic idea how you can use the voltage that is coming from a voltage divider for an LDR to control an LED you either can turn it on and turn it off future application you might use this light feedback to control light inside a room basically you would have a light sensor and the light sensor will see what is the intensity of the light inside the room if the intensity is too high then using PWM inside your microcontroller you would send a small PWM signal to make the light dimmer basically you would be saving power and if the light intensity in the room is too dark or the it's night time you would need full lights or full power so you would send a large PWM signal to turn the lights on or to increase the intensity so this is kind of smart home automation project you can do it in millions of ways if you choose to use lab view you can if you want to use it separately using arduino studio you can if you want to build it, build it through solid state electronic circuits you can it depends what is your actual application and what is required for you for university students i know that this is what's given in the course and i have to do it <laughs> that's it but if you are thinking of terms of cost what is cheaper 
if you do it on a normal electronic circuit it's much cheaper anyway i hope this answered your question and thank you and have a nice day